Hey there, this is Jerry, and today I wanted to share my views and ideas on on your third eye and how you can stimulate and activate your third eye to heighten your awareness, your sensory perceptions, um, and see into other worlds. And I'm not talking about your sensory perceptions in terms of your, your physical five senses, the ones that we are accustomed to, the ones that we've been taught are all that we have. I'm talking about the sensory perceptions beyond our five senses. Because we have an infinite number of senses. You know, the senses that we have available to us, once we tap into the resources that are available to us as human beings, as spiritual beings having a human experience, are absolutely extraordinary. And once you open your third eye and you start to journey and you start to tap into these other worlds beyond our world, you know, beyond what you can see with your physical eyes, everything opens up. When this happens, it's not always comfortable. It's not always easy. It's not, it's not sunshines and rainbows. Because what happens is you see the truth. And you start to realize that everything that you've ever known, everything that you've ever believed in, the things that you've been taught, aren't all what they're cracked up to be aren't all what they seem and you go into this this place this state this heightened awareness where you can feel and see in a completely different way you go way beyond logical thinking because logical thinking cannot comprehend what rises to the surface once you see the truth you switch from left brain to right brain, from male to female, and you just open up in the most incredible way. So, I want to give you some tips for helping to stimulate and activate your third eye, which is just slightly above your eyebrows and in between. There's a number of different chakra systems that you can use. I mean, the Egyptians use a 13 chakra system and an 8 chakra system. Some people use a 7 chakra system. Some people use a 12, a 13, or a 14 chakra system. But we'll just keep it basic for today and we'll work with a 7 chakra system. So, this, this chakra is your 6 chakra, your third eye chakra. Now, one thing that you can do, very, very simple, okay, is just to rub it, caress it gently. I mean, I work with energy. I'm an energy healer. I do distance energy healing, psychic surgery. And one tip that I will share with people to, to activate the chi, the prana, inside your body, inside your hands, is just to take your thumb and massage the palms of your, of your hand just gently. You can do it now. Just try it. And then you'll feel it tingle. And then you can move your arms, your hands together, sorry and you feel the energy inside just try it now feel and you can see that energy you see it expands it grows it's huge it's powerful so just like you rub the inside of your palms just rub over the vortex of your third eye here just rub it gently stimulate it massage it and as you're doing that, bring your awareness into your third eye. Put your focus, your awareness, bring it into the center here, into your third eye. And just massage. That's one great tip. Just massage it. It's so, so simple. The next thing, spend time in darkness. Okay? When you spend time in darkness, it raises your melatonin levels, which stimulate your pineal gland your third eye. So go into darkness, sit there with your eyes closed and just again bring your awareness into this point and just sit there and just focus on it. Whatever thoughts come into your mind, observe them and let them go. It's kind of like being in a meditative state. 
So you're in this kind of meditative state, you can be sitting, lying, standing, whichever you prefer, but just make sure that your spine is straight, that your back's nice and straight. Whether you're sitting, lying or standing, make sure that your back's straight. Close your eyes, be in darkness and just bring your awareness into this point, okay, up to here. The next thing that's very important is to eat correctly. Okay, the foundation of, of, of you. Your foundation is your human body. Okay, you're a spiritual being having a human experience, but right now here on planet Earth, you're inside your body. Your body is like your home. So, you wouldn't leave mess all over your home. You wouldn't pour rubbish all over your home. You'd clean your home. You'd make sure that your home was well looked after so that when you went into the space as a human being, it's clean, it's tidy, and you want to be there. You look after it, you cherish your home. So you need to cherish the home of your spirit, which is your body. And after, you know, the spirit, the mind, the body are all intrinsically linked. So it's important to look after all three. So, you feed yourself the right foods, plenty of greens, spinach, kale, cucumber, watercress, green beans, loads and loads of greens, and try and eat them fresh, eat them raw, okay? If you are going to cook them, don't cook them for too long. Don't boil your vegetables at 100 degrees and strip all the nutrition out of them. Don't peel any of your vegetables, try and eat them raw. And if you want a bit of warmth in them, just, just warm them up, you know, for a few minutes. Uh, don't steam them, steaming's even worse than boiling, because steam doesn't occur until 105 to 108 degrees, which is past boiling temperature, so it's actually hotter, so it strips more vitamins, minerals, and goodness from your food. Your brain loves vitamins, antioxidants, minerals, so feed it the good stuff, okay? Plenty of greens, very important. Try and stay away from fluoride. Fluoride's dangerous. Fluoride actually calcifies your pineal gland, along with uh, sugary foods, uh, white pastas, white rices, they're no good for you. So get yourself a nice healthy toothpaste, stay away from any sugar, processed foods, packaged foods, white rice, white breads. It's no good for your body. Stay away from this stuff. It's going to help your body and in turn your mind and in turn your spirit. Because what you think about affects your emotions, affects your body and in turn affects your spirit. So it's important that you look after your body and give it the correct nutrition. Don't drink any tap water. Okay, if you are going to drink tap water, make sure you filter it. Okay, filter it properly. Very important. Okay, don't be guzzling tap water down. Even bottled water has some fluoride in it. So, even your bottled water, you want to filter. Other good foods that you can eat are goji berries, uh, coconut oil, uh, raw cacao, uh, berries, loads of berries, loads of fruits very very good for helping activate your pineal gland. Now I'm going to share with you a really valuable technique, a very simple but valuable technique for helping activate your pineal gland. If you get yourself into a sitting, a standing or a lying position, back straight very important and there's two things that I want you to do. Number one, I want you to take a nice long deep breath, okay? Right down to the pit of your stomach. And then what you're going to do is you're going to chant or sing Om. Now, I'm going to spell Om for you because it's not O M. I want you to, to say it as A U M, Om. Okay, the letter A is very important. So you're going to take a nice long deep breath. Om. And let the sound out. Okay. Now when you let this sound out, I want you to have your awareness 
on your third eye, your pineal glands, okay? Here, just inside your head, okay? Very important. And as you're chanting or singing on, have your awareness here, and I want you to adjust the tone of what you're singing, what you're chanting. And you'll feel it. As you go up and down the levels, up and down the tones, you're going to connect and you're going to start to feel this tingle and then you're going to start to feel it vibrate. Okay? You also might feel the back of your throat vibrate and they'll start to vibrate together. You know you've got it spot on when that happens. So, a nice long deep breath. Om. That's so powerful. I can feel that now. My whole body now is on fire. Absolutely roasting, baking hot. And this is tingling like crazy. So what I want you to do is to practice and find the pitch, find the tone that gets your third eye on the vibration. This, this, this sound, Om, is the, the sound of God, the vibration of the universe. Okay, so when you're chanting this, it's very, very powerful. You should get into a practice of doing this every single day. Vibration, rhythm, sound is the doorway to your soul, the doorway to the universe, the doorway to infinite possibilities. So when you start to make this connection between your third eye and the sound, you start to be able to get yourself into a state where you can manifest your dreams, where you can manifest your true purpose and what you want to do in this life. Okay, so this is important. I want you to do this nine times. So you take a nice long deep breath. Aum. And do that nine times. So you breathe straight back in again. And then you say om um, again, nine times in a row. Okay, so powerful, so, so powerful. As soon as you've done this, what I'd like you to do is to close your eyes. And when you close your eyes, with your real eyes, I want you to look up towards your third eye. So your, eyes, your eyelids are closed, but behind your eyelids, you're looking up here. Your whole energy, your whole awareness is centered on this point. So you're looking up into the corner and then you close your eyes and you continue to breathe. Nice long deep breaths and as you're focusing on your third eye start to become aware of what you see, what you feel what sensations are there? Where is your awareness taking you? Can you see any pictures, any visuals? Can you hear anyone talking? Do you get flashes of images? It's different for everybody. We all work in different ways, but we're all capable of working in every way. By seeing, by feeling, by physically feeling other people's emotions and pains and, and, and what is happening in other people's lives. So, focus on your third eye and just be aware and observe what is happening. Don't try to attach or uh, get hung up on what you're seeing or what you're feeling. And also, if you don't feel or see anything, if you're not knowing anything, because that's something else that occurs, is a deep and profound knowing. As you go up the levels and your consciousness elevates, you stop believing, you stop searching and looking. Things just come to you and you know them. You know them 
at the core of your being on a deep cellular level and this is the point my friend where you need to get to and you will get to if you practice this every single day dedicate yourself to opening your third eye and your doorway to infinite possibilities your doorway to the universe to the galaxies beyond this galaxy and the worlds within the space between all of the worlds there is so many places to explore it's fascinating but to start with just just feel and see and and, and, and stare and and keep your awareness on your third eye without clinging to it without expecting too much just observe and whatever comes to the surface just allow it to be as you start to focus on your third eye and you start to take on this information what happens is you sometimes get like a dull headache or you might get a more of a, a sharp headache you know you might get a, a stream of energy that that pulsates straight through here straight through your third eye straight down into the the center of your brain down into your pituitary gland and it just opens up the hole inside of your head and what happens is you're creating this energy channel to allow extrasensory multi-dimensional information to flow into your consciousness now this information flows into your consciousness in the form of light light is information and love is creation you hear people saying you know I'm sending you love and light they're sending you creation and information when you're taking on board this information is coming in the form of light and what happens is sometimes the downloads are very 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 intense and my advice to you is this allow it to just take place what you can do if it does become too much is simply to say slow down the download please can you slow this download down or I want to take a break so bring your awareness back inside your body walk out into nature you know go and cuddle some trees uh, walk out uh, on the grass on the earth with, uh, with your shoes off and just ground yourself and come back down again if you're not out in nature what you can do is just visualize your feet planted firmly into the sand the ocean or the earth and visualize roots coming out of the bottom of your feet and just ground yourself back down again because what can happen when we're doing this work which I've experienced myself uh, personally is we can go way up there way up into the stratosphere and we forget that we're supposed to be living as human beings down here on planet earth so you've got to get that balance right too that is really really important the most amazing thing that's going to happen when you start to open up your sensory perceptions in terms of uh, your insights you're going to see that there's no separation this is the truth there is no religion there is no persons there's no men there's no women there's no here there's no there there's no animals there's no trees there's no plants there's no humans it's just one flow of energy just one complete energy source that's what we are we're energy and when you open yourself up to this the most magnificent things are going to happen in your life you're going to see the world as a vibrating mass of energy and that's how I see the world because when I'm healing a client regardless of what's wrong with them or what diseases they have I see it on a level of energy so it's very easy to see and all I need to do is to manipulate that energy move the stuck energy on and allow the body to be in a state I create an environment where the body can self heal just by moving the energy around and when you start to open your third eye you're going to see the world in terms of this 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 space this energy and when you do your life's going to be truly magical I have no words to describe how breathtaking it's going to be for you my friend so as you go deeper and you go further and you journey more and your consciousness elevates and expands and your vibration heightens you are going to experience some symptoms and they're different for everybody everybody reacts to this stuff in different ways 
But as your body becomes lighter in its vibration, you're going to start to experience different things. You may get headaches, you may get dull headaches, sometimes a dull headache that kind of encompasses your whole brain. Um, it's the kind of headache where, you know, if you took some paracetamols or some neurofen, it's not going to get rid of it. You could take a whole box of neurofen and it won't get rid of it. Okay? You have to ride this out. Now, it's not always a dull headache. Sometimes you get sharp headaches, like a piercing straight through the center of uh, your third eye here. It goes way down deep into the, into the back of your brain. And these shooting pains, not that intense, but sometimes fairly intense around your brain. You a lot of pain where your, your crown chakra is up here. Um, these, things, these are symptoms that can happen. I've experienced this um, on and off. Uh, as I've kind of been going on my spiritual journey and going deeper and exploring and journeying, meditating, uh, going through the exercises that I've shown you today, plus a whole uh, heap of other ones, your brain is growing. Your pineal gland grows. You know, thousands of years ago, our pineal gland used to be the size of a walnut. And now a lot of pi people's pineal glands are the size of a peanut. They're a lot smaller. So as you bring in the lights into your body, your consciousness is going to expand and your pineal gland is going to start to grow, your brain is going to grow, you're going to open up new neural pathways, and it has an effect. It's a great effect, but you do suffer a few symptoms on the way. So just be with them, uh, allow them, don't fight them. Just know that you're growing as a human being, as a spiritual being, and life is getting better and better and better. Other symptoms are sleep patterns. You may find that some nights you're absolutely tired, really tired, and you just can't wait to hit the pillow. Uh, other nights you'll go to sleep and you're fizzing with energy, and you could be up to three, four, five in the morning. Things just change around. Uh, again, don't fight this. Just go with the flow. This is part of the process. A lucid dreaming starts to be, be in your life a lot more you start to see things. Uh, it's like life is just a dream. Life is a dream anyway, but when you start to open up your pineal gland, you realize that every day you're living in a dream and it's just completely beautiful. Absolutely mind-blowing. You start to feel things. You start to see things. You start to pick up other people's emotions. You start to see other people's thoughts. You start to see things on a level of energy. Your creative abilities heighten as your awareness heightens. You get an influx of inspiration. I mean inspiration, let's look at the word inspiration. Uh, inspired, it means in spirit. It's your spirit from within you calling you, pulling you forwards. It's not driving you forwards, it's not motivating you. It can't motivate you. You can only motivate yourself by thinking. And this is way beyond thinking. This is way beyond belief systems. This is an inner knowing that's sucking you and pulling you and, and steering you on your journey. And you just can't say no to it. You have to go with it because it's so exciting. That is inspiration. And when you're inspired, you're enthusiastic. I mean, the word enthusiasm comes from the Greeks. It means God within. Inspired, in spirit, enthusiasm, God within. It's this inner sense of awareness, this loving energy, this pure source energy, this power just pulling you, steering you, saying, Jerry, go this way. Jerry, come over here. This is what you need to do. And you just go with it and it feels so good. That is being inspired and when you open your pineal gland and you, you journey into these other worlds, you're going to experience this firsthand. Magical, truly magical. As your frequency heightens, toxicity is going to leave your body. Toxicity from deep within your DNA, from within your cells, uh, deep rooted, deep seated emotions, ancestral conditioning from centuries old is going to come to the surface and sometimes it's not that nice but what you need to do is to sit with it 
be with it, feel it. Don't try and run away from these emotions. Go into these emotions. Fully experience and fully feel these emotions on the deepest level possible. Befriend them, sit with them. And once you befriend them, you'll transcend them. They'll dissolve, they'll disappear, they'll float off into the ether, out of your life for good. But you have to make friends with them. Very important. Time is going to speed up and slow down. It's going to seem like the weeks are just whizzing by, the months are just whizzing by, the years are just whizzing by. But at the same time, you're going to be able to manipulate time. You're going to be able to bend time, bend reality. You know, if you, let's say you're late for a meeting one day, you've got to be somewhere within an hour and it's an hour and a half journey. You can get to that meeting by slowing time down or speeding time up however you perceive it, but this is possible. I do this. Sometimes I do this unknowingly. I just put the intention forward and I want this and it happens. I don't actually know sometimes how it happens, but it does. Intention, my friend, is powerful. Love and intention, crucial. Your hair, your fingernails is gonna start to grow faster. Electrical items, televisions, computers, phones will start to malfunction. You could be on your computer and it just crashes, you know, it's just gone. You don't know why, it just happens. Things just start to happen around you because your frequency is so different and it's a good thing. Okay, technology is not that great anyway. I mean, it's great for passing on messages like this. But we're around it, as a human race, far too much. So if something crashes on you, just accept it. Acceptance is important, I'm sure you know that already. And your heart. As your vibration rises, you might start to get, you know, fast heart palpitations, where your heart is aligning with your frequency, because your heart is love. And when your frequency is raising and heightening, the heart and the vibration are coming onto par, coming onto the same level. So you sometimes experience heart palpitations, a racing heart. The other thing that can happen, which we've not really uh, talked about in this video, is when your heart chakra opens, it can feel like there's tightness across your sternum, tightness across your chest. And what that is, is your heart chakra opening. I had that for about six to nine months at one point, it was very, very tight. And every time I went to take a deep breath, I couldn't fill my lungs up with oxygen. It felt like I was being compressed across here. And I wondered what it was. I wasn't sure at first. And then obviously, you know, my intuition helped me realize what was happening. And it was just my heart chakra opening. And when it burst open, boy, it was amazing. You see, We've talked about your, your third eye, and we've talked about breath being doorways or gateways to the infinite world of possibilities. But your heart chakra, you can jump straight through your heart chakra and out into these worlds between worlds, between space. Just like that, quickly, at the drop of a hat. When I do my, my surgery, my psychic surgery and my long distance energy healing, I always work through my heart. I leave my body through my heart, go to the location where my clients are and bring that love with me. And that is when the magic happens. Love is the most powerful, measurable form of energy that we know of. And when you work with love, when you realize that you are love and nothing else, your life's just gonna take on new wings. It's gonna be totally amazing. You're gonna start to see everything in this world as energy a vibrating mass of particles. You might look at a book or a magazine or a house or a brick or a tree and just see this, this static, vibrating energy that is this object that you're looking at. And you're gonna to start to realize that everything's just a pattern. I mean, you look at me right now, I'm sat in this chair and I look like Jerry Sargent. And if you see me tomorrow, I'm going to look like Jerry Sargent again, at the same in three weeks or a year. But I'm completely different. I'm new atoms, new molecules, 
new fibres, new carbons, a whole complete different makeup of this original source energy. Now, I'm just a pattern. You're just a pattern. Everything that you see through your eyes and everything that you observe and interpret is your interpretation of this reality. And when you start to open your third eye, you're going to, you're going to see one mass of vibrating energy everywhere. You're going to look at your hands and they're not going to look like hands. They're just going to look like geometry, space, atoms, vibrations, colours. Colours not of this world. You know, you'll be able to see the outline of your hand, but the outline of your hand isn't going to stop. It's just going to merge into the space. The outside of the trunk of a tree will merge into the space around the tree. And the space will merge into the clouds, and the clouds will merge into the sun. And any animals that are running around on the grass will just be blending into this energy source. This is what you're going to see, and this is beautiful. This is the truth. This is reality, and this is wonderful. I love you with my heart and soul, with every fibre of my entire being. Practice this exercise I've shown you today for 21 days in a row. Do it twice a day if you feel like it, three times, okay? Practice OM. Get that vibration connecting third eye to your throat, and I'm telling you, you are going to become the most amazing manifester in the universe. You're going to be able to draw into your life everything that you want, everything that your heart desires, everything that you are, because you are love. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Keep up to date with all the latest videos. I post videos every single week, so check back at the channel, subscribe, and you'll get the email notifications. Please share these videos with your friends, with your family, with your loved ones. Let's make this world a better place. I'll see you again real soon.